Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the final masterclass of day two. My name is Balale Olukani, and I will be your moderator for this Thai masterclass. Who loves Thai food? Say hi. We all love a good Thai curry. It enters our soul. And I'm really excited because our chef today truly is a master when it comes to making Thai food. She was a contestant in the 2019 MasterChef, and she is both British and Thai. She also runs the Crying Cafe, Crying Tiger Cafe, which is, you know, a fusion of teaching people how to make food, how to plate food, and of course, private dining. And we want to give her that big Nigerian welcome. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Yuri Miles. Hi, hi everyone. <laughs> Looking so gorgeous and oh, ready to you. really show us what it means to make some authentic Thai cuisine. Uh, you, you know, you were part of MasterChef and yeah. you really have just created a name for yourself when it comes to making Thai food in the most authentic way. Um, talk to us a little bit about that journey. So basically, um, I created the um, a content on this Instagram and then it's become really yeah, popular. And then um, one day, um, I just decided to um, wanted to apply for MasterChef, but actually it's my husband that inspired me and he helped me write all of the application form. So he do the hardest part and then um, I put all the application form together and then by the time you know it, you're on the, um, on the show. So yeah, I presented some of the authentic dishes um, and um, go through to the quarter finalist. And then um, after that, I got invited to go to the game show called Beat the Chef, where the normal home cook contestants cook against the um, Michelin star chef. And I won the money because I bet. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, it just, you know, the rest of the history, um, working hard, doing loads of private dining supper club, and, um, um, and then started to have my own sort of like cookery online Zoom cooking session. So I run many of the Thai cookery class, Japanese, Chinese, Korea, and um, it's actually become really successful over the hot lockdown as well. So yeah. That's awesome. Can you guys see? Just putting it out there. And also it pays to have a supportive spouse, so husbands. Act right. So we're going to start our cooking now. Yui is going to be making us amazing Thai dishes. And today, I think I'm going to be helping you out a little bit, right? Yeah, of course. Please oh. do. All right. So let's yes. get started. Okay. <laughs> so I've got these four lovely sisters with me. And she, they all been amazing behind the scenes, helping me prepping um, two dishes that I'm going to do today. So um, I'm going to make an authentic Thai green curry. And the other dish, oh, can I have a woo? All right. <laughs> <laughs> and another dish is a really light um, dish that is my favorite as much as the Thai green curry, which is the, um, it's called a waterfall salmon, which is a fusion between Japanese and add a little bit of Thai spicy sauce salad on it. And that sauce, you can actually adapt it to put in the meat as well, like a um, barbecue steak, um, fish, anything you can actually have that sauce into that meat, um, into any kind of fish or meat that you prefer. And um, before we start cooking the Thai green curry, I would like to show you what's in the authentic Thai green curry paste. So, these are all the ingredients that I bought from Thailand because we went away to Thailand a couple of weeks ago and um, this my dad cycling to the market and bought all of these ingredients for me. <laughs> so this has got all the love, passion and my dad's sweat in it. <laughs> and, um, and then I brought over to, back to England and then brought over to Nigeria to show you. <laughs> I should take it away from her mom. So... For green curry, the green curry paste, yeah, we have the lemongrass. I'll show you over here, or if you want to pan down. And this is called galangal, which is the, um, the root part, uh, the root plant. It's very similar to ginger, but it's not the same. So um, 
some people use ginger instead. Yeah, I'm just going to adjust your mic a little bit just because of its echoing, just to make sure we can hear you. Uh, can you do a mic check for us? Okay. Is it better? A bit lower? All right, go ahead and is say it, something. Is it better? All right, thank okay. you. All right, okay. sorry about that. Sorry, that's what I was hearing my, <laughs> myself breathing. No, it's fine. <laughs> okay, and this one, you might see in this one before, this is the coffee lime leaves. If you can, um, you know, it might, I knew that it, um, you have it in Nigeria because um, the staff can get them for me. And this is, is the coffee lime, is the, 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 tr the plants from the uh, coffee lime tree, and then this is the leaves. So this is like brother and sister. And then this is the Thai coriander root over here. So we use the root for the green curry paste. And this one is the um, coriander peppercorn or coriander corn. And we got um, pepper, um, cumin powder, and garlic, shallots, and this one is trim paste. Okay, and um, this one is lots of green curry, um, lots of green chili. So all of this, we finally slice them together and the, the, the coffee line we just use outside part and we pound them. I prefer to pound them in a big molten um, a pesto mortar because you have that aroma. If you, you can actually use the blender to do it. If you're doing a big amount, that's absolutely fine as well. Right. But if you want it to work out as well as cooking, just use your pesto mortar and you get the big muscles. Okay. <laughs> and um, actually, I just wanted to um, tell you as well that once you pound them up together, this is the Thai green curry paste. But if you take this out and then add red chili in and take the cumin cumin powder and the coriander seed out and add the red chili in that's become red curry paste right okay and if you want to have panang curry paste add the um, peanuts yes ground peanuts in because panang curry paste is less watering it's quite nutty so that become panang curry and if you want musaman curry Leave that in and add star anise, cumin powder back in, and then add the um, cinnamon, pound cinnamon stick. Okay, into it. Into it, and then bay leaf, and that becomes masaman curry. So this is a simple four different kind of curry, but using similar um, ingredients. Only just pick something out, add something in, and you can have four or five different curry paste. Okay. I put all of this back in. That lovely, thank you. So, right now, we're gonna, I'm going to get all the girls to pound all of this to make the curry paste for you. No, I'm only joking. We only got about, <laughs> we only got about um, maybe another 15 we have minutes. Like a, yeah, we still have time. Yeah, we're still yeah, going yeah, on yeah, time. Right. So, this is, okay, I'll put the magic one on it. And this is the curry paste that I pound. And... If I open it, I think the next door probably can smell my curry paste. So it, it's really nice and fine like this. And the tip that if someone not want it too spicy, you can pound a bit of the, um, a few of the um, basil leaves in it as well. So make it greener. Or when they do that, a uh, private, di uh, private dining for my um, English customers, I use spinach juice because... <laughs> Because it's toned it down a lot, right. but you still have a really nice green color mm -hmm. into your green curry paste, and it worked really, really well. You know, I think if you were making for Nigerians, they'd ask you to add more pepper, so yep. you have no worries about that. <laughs> That's good to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. So what we need for Thai cooking, we need to prep every single thing right next to your hop. So what I need is the green curry paste, coconut milk and all of the veggies. Okay, while the girls prepping, so we got, um, we already want, we already have this one. We'll put this one away. And then we got coconut milk and all of the vegetables. 
Oh, that's a B sharp tap, yeah. You can use any kind of vegetables, really. I mean, for the authentic recipes, we only use the um, beans, um, aubergines, and the um, bamboo shoots. Right, this and I think we call this eggplants. In, eggplants, yeah. yeah. So for, for Thai, for Thai um, green curry, we normally have a baby aubergines. I don't know what you have it here. Oh, or it's not. garden egg? Yes, garden oh, egg. You we call it garden egg. Well. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Ones. So if you have them, it, they are perfect to use with the Thai green curry. Wow, but okay. if the origin is easier to find, that's absolutely fine as well. So, and then I need some fish sauce, some sugar, please. Okay. That's it. And then chicken. My baby chicken. Okay. Lovely, thank you. So, and then some cutlery as well, like an, a spoon or the um, spatula. So I'm going to have the hop on sort of medium, medium heat. Or will it be better over here? That might be better because it stands better. Is that right, yeah? Thank you. And can I have a spoon as well, please? A spoon. Okay. So, when you have the coconut milk in the tin or in the can, sometimes you have some sort of fat sit at the top. Don't try to shake them because the fat part is the best part to use to fry your curry paste. So, we, I've got it here. That should be all right. Okay, so I'm just going to add them onto your pan. Now, do you guys usually use coconut milk from a can or is it coconut milk that you get from, you know, a coconut and you process it to make the coconut milk? Yeah, if it's in Thailand, they normally just have the coconut and then use the grinder, the coconut grater, and then they squeeze it right into the market. If you go to the fresh market, they will have the fresh coconut. That's the best to use. Okay. But... In England, I just right. use it. I can't. <laughs> no time. Uh, yeah, no time. <laughs> so, yeah, so you can actually use a tin of the coconut milk as well. It's absolutely fine. And for Thai um, curry, we need to cook the curry paste first until it's sort of become really lovely and fragrant. Shall I add more? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. I'll just add half. This is really, really hot. So... So basically, we just need to cook the curry paste in the coconut milk. And at this stage, you need to be quite patient and then stir them really well until you see the really lovely um, green oil separated from the curry paste. And then it will just gonna bubble up on the top. And this is the key to get the Thai green curry really lovely and fragrant, okay? Let me just get that one up. Oh. And then um, in Thailand, um, then you know when you go to the um, when when you're cooking, the next door next door neighbor will know what the, the, the next door. The yeah. So, oh, you cook green curry. You cook basmati <laughs> curry. So that's it's more like you know how they make friends. <laughs> So you can see the sauce are thicken really, really nicely now. But I'm just going to wait a little bit longer to have that lovely oil come through. But at the moment, you can't see the oil. You just have to wait until it's come through. I don't know, you can smell it, but on the stage, you smell amazing. It smells really good, actually. This is going to be really questions, but anyone likes spicy food? Lift yeah. your hands up. Yes. Oh yeah. my God. Every single You're one of my friends. friends. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Nigeria. That's good. Well, actually, I ordered something like I thought it would be quite mild right. yesterday. And it hit you hard. And then huh? I took one bite out. And <laughs> <laughs> we like to suffer when we're eating our food. It's a thing. Yeah, that's right. I've got no problem toning my chili down at all here. So I'm good. Okay. 
Let's just lower it down a little bit. So you can see that the sauce is bubbling up and you have the oil separated from the coconut milk. Yeah. It's beautiful. And this stage is the stage that it, um, for you to add the chicken in. So it means that your curry paste is cooked. And you can add any type of protein you want, like yes. shrimp, fish, yes. anything That's else, right? right. Trim okay. I would add last. Trim we do other way around because trim is so quick to cook. So you okay. just need to cook your vegetable first and right. then add trim after. Okay. But um, for the chicken, you add the chicken first. And then you, or you can have beef. It's absolutely gorgeous with beef as well. So add the chicken in. I stirred it really well. Here we go. Oh, I keep turning on the wrong one. Okay. And for Thai, you know, Thai dishes, Thai meal, we normally eat with different dishes. I don't know, same as Nigerian, because yeah. we eat like, you know, curry, stir fry, and then some spicy salad and add with rice. We never eat one dish, sit in a you know, right, in just the like one thing. No, okay. you, we, we, we do not. that at parties. So, you know, we might have like, you know, a little bit, a little bit of salad. Just a yeah. little on the side, but it's protein. <laughs> we usually have big portions of meat. We like meat in Nigeria. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's yeah. good. <laughs> okay, right. Just going to let the chicken cook a little bit longer. And this is just only the sample dish because behind the scene, the girls are making a big pot of the Thai green curry. And then, then we are going to put the sample on the dish over there for you as well towards the end. And then you can all come so and we grab get to one. Taste. That will be your yummy dinner. But I have to say, it's only people that ask questions at the end that will taste. Keep clapping. <laughs> okay, right. So, I think my chicken is about 60, 60, 60, 70% done. Now, I'm going to add um, aubergine. Right. Oh, actually, is, is anyone wanting to help me? Would you like to come on the stage? Oh, I'm going to oh. pick. Oh, go on. Um, who wants to help? Who wants to help? Okay, we can have two people, actually. So the lady in the red and the lady in the green, the two of you, please have a sit. Please sit down. Dear, sit down. Thank you. I just need a little assistance to come and help me yes, you chop and the, the lady in the green. Uh, thank you. Oh, we're matching. It's twins. You guys make some noise for our helpers. <laughs> okay, so if you could just go wash your hands over there, yeah. please. Hi. I'm assuming there's some sort of, you know, technique to cutting. I feel like whenever chefs cut, it's very different from no. whatever. I am more about home cook. So you just cut any pieces, never be equal. So you can cut like brother and sister, uncle, grandma, whatever. It, down to the taste anyway at the end of the day. So basically, if you... I've got two assistants. Just cut one aubergine. Half of aubergine. <laughs> <laughs> Should we take turn? Yes, we'll okay. take turn. What's so, your name? Mercy. Okay, yeah. this is Mercy and this is Justina. 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 So they are our helpers for today. All right, thank you. So if you just could um, half them and then sort of dice them up for me and... You would do the same for me. Pressing Thank you. Pizza, <laughs> so, while these two lovely lady cutting my aubergine, um, I'm going to add these lovely peppers as well. Just add that in for me. Okay. That goes in there. Maybe I just only it's need okay. that you much. You can yeah. stand in front of it. Yeah. So that there you go. Okay. That's perfect. It's very nice. Better than my cutting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that's brilliant. Thank you. Yeah, Thank that's you very right. much, Mercy. All right. Would you, you like can to head come back over? To your seat. Just Thank cut you. the rest for me and that will be fine. I think I'm only need quarter. 
But if you have the baby aubergine that you have, the eggplant, that is really lovely to have as well because that's what we have in Thailand. Okay. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank All right. You, thank Justina. you. A round of applause for two lovely ladies. And then I'm going to add the aubergine in. Okay. And then you got now. That's really be the last. Thank you. And can I have the Thai basil as well, please? And then I'm going to add um, about one third of the coconut milk to go thin. And then we're just going to seasoning with the fish sauce and um, brown sugar. You can actually, well, origin, or I would prefer palm sugar, but if you can't find them, brown sugar is absolutely fine as well. So can you use white sugar though? Yeah, you can okay, use white can. sugar, it's fine. Yeah, absolutely fine. Any sugar, but I prefer brown or palm because it's got that nuttiness, the flavor. Right. So I prefer to use that. But if, if you can't find it, white sugar is absolutely fine too. So. I just add this in. And this, believe it or not, is a really popular um, order or um, dish for my private dining and they all love my Thai green curry maybe because it's simple and mm. but it's really tasty I think there's something about all types of Thai curries that really just connects to the palate yes um, and also the ability to be able to eat it with rice like yeah. anything that you can eat with rice anything is honestly rice. a winner yeah, exactly yeah I think well I've got one of my, my Jamaican um, um, Nigerian friend and she said if you not have, you don't um, eat rice, means that you actually not have the meal yet. Yeah, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Okay, so what we got next? So I'm just seasoning with fish sauce and a little bit of sugar because all of the flavor is in the curry paste already. So the secret of make, um, making a good Thai green curry is to get a good curry paste or make your own one. So that is the key as well, because you've got loads of you know, herbs and spices in mm -hmm. it. I'm just and going to taste process, it now. Do you, guys, do you add anything to make it a bit thicker or is it just based on how long you let it stew? No, that's it. That's, that's what we normally eat it quite thin. We have a really quite thin soup, more like um, you, you add that sauce into your rice, it's right. not too thick, not right. like gravy thin, mm -hmm. a lot thinner than the okay. gravy. So, and then I'm just going to add a tiny bit of the basil in, but I'm going to add more towards the end because I want it to keep the colour. So, and then um, just add the rest of the um, coconut milk. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of water. Oh. <laughs> Which one? Right, lovely, thank you. A uh, tiny bit. I can see, you know, the way Thai curries are made is very similar to how we make a lot of our stews. You kind of just feel and kind of trust the process, it seems. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, yeah. And just let it simmer. And this is the, um, the additional vegetable that I add, a very typical ingredient that we put in these bamboo shoots. It's got that crunchiness, but if you can't find it, that's fine. You don't need to add them in. Okay. So I'm just going to add, I think I add all of them in because they're quite, um, they will actually suck up the flavor into the, um, my green curry. Okay. Uh, and then I'm just going to let it simmer until the vegetables all um, soft and all of them absorb all the flavor into the, um, of the green curry. Okay, let me taste again. And then I'm going to let this simmer and then I'm going to make this salmon dish. Okay. Just going to add a tiny bit of the fish sauce. Oh, that's quite hot. Is it too pepperish? <laughs> it is really hot, but it <laughs> will be okay with the rice. <laughs> okay. It looks delicious. I don't know, can you smell it in the room? Yeah, yeah. oh, that's good. There we go. Last taste. Mm. Perfect. That's perfect. Perfect. 
and then I'm just going to add a tiny bit of the red chili, but I'm going to use them to garnish. Didn't you just say it's too pepperish? Chilies. Yes. Are you adding more pepper? Yeah. Yeah, people, this, what's her name? We need to give her a name. A Nigerian, Nigerian name. Nigerian so. name. And I feel like it has to be a Yoruba name, actually. More chilies. Uh, titi, Abby. <laughs> She's a Titi. I can't give you Bolanle because that's my name, so I'll give you Titi. <laughs> That's it. I'm just going to leave it simmer. She have this one lower. Lower hop. Is that right? Is it lower or not? So I can just move it over here, yeah? It's hot though. Okay, right. I'm going to move on to make... Oh, one more thing I forgot to add. Sorry. Just the green bean as well. I'm going to add that towards the end. And then let it simmer over here. Take this one away, my lovely. Okay, just have a quick mix and then if you could just look and keep an eye on for me. Okay, we're going to move on to do the salmon, um, the waterfall salmon, which is it's my own creation that I make this a lot on my private dining because um, it's got that fusion feel but still got the really nice Asian Thai taste. So, what we have is the salmon piece. Could I have the salmon piece? please. And then we have three trays. So I'm going to pan cook crumb them and then fry them in the pan. And they will be really nice, lovely and crispy. Okay. I need a tray as well. There'll be three trays. So we got the flour station and then we got egg station and then we've got um, the panko crumb station. Okay. So we should have these three of them over here. Have we got one more? Yeah. So I'm just adding a little bit of flour over here. And then this one with the panko crumb. So these breadcrumbs, can you also use crumb, breadcrumbs that you make yeah, at home? Yeah, you can use normal breadcrumb as well. You, you can't find the panko crumb, but the panko crumb will give you that that texture because it's it's bigger. It's got like flaky sort of flavor. Okay. Flake, flakiness. When you fry them, it's really nice and crispy. So, but if you can't find them, you can use a normal bread crumb. It's absolutely fine too. Yes, please. And can and can can I have one egg, please? One egg should be fine. If you can knock them on here and then whisk it for me. And then basically, you get the salmon ready. And then you have um, three station in front of you. It wouldn't work if I'm not on the lead. <laughs> <laughs> I do that at home all the time. And then I just like, it's not working. <laughs> okay, we got some salt here. Put this back. And then I don't need that now. I'll put this away, my lovely. Thank you. I'm going to be useful and stir okay. this. Help me stir it. And I think you can just turn it off shortly. I turn it it's off. It's fine, yeah. Okay. So, what we my got My mother now? would be proud. We need eggs, please. Yep, yeah, that's perfect. Just roughly whisk them. So, we need, we've got three stations here. So, we got the, um, the plain flour egg and then breadcrumb and then I've got here is lovely piece of salmon and then I slide them up to a long strips like this and then I'm going to use two hand one wet one dry um, so you have a dry we have the um, hold on a minute a dry hands here uh, one the station and then wet on the egg and then I've got on the panko breadcrumb, the dry again. Okay. And then more or less like we have the um, salmon breadcrumb ready to fry. So that would be one piece. So I probably, ah. so that's it. So you have a two station here. So one wet, one dry. So you just repeat in it. So this is wet. So you go onto the, flour 
and then you move on to the egg, and then you have the wet tan. And then you move on to the breadcrumbs. And then, yeah, so okay. you don't have, you know, towards the end, you don't have the thick sort of <laughs> stuck gloves in your fingers. In your hands. This so you is actually a really, really amazing technique because I know what you mean when you're trying you, to make... And then your dry hands yeah. go over. Less mess and, um, you know, you don't have the giant boxing gloves. Yes. Um, just keep pulling. Yeah, keep pulling. That's it. That's enough. Thank you. Oh, actually, leave it on here for now because I'm going to need some assistant to help me do this. Okay. Done. Oh, I'm going to put, put this to practice now if anyone would like to help me with two hand stations. Where's the confident girl that stood up? Oh yeah, stand up, <laughs> not you, her, with the blue and the red. Come on, girls, come on. Smile, dear, smile. <laughs> All right, wash your hands, my lovely. Wash your hands, thank you. Yeah. Because <laughs> once you do the, um, I've got my lovely assistants doing this, I'm going to make the sauce. Okay. Yeah, okay. No, that sounds but you, right. I don't know why you didn't ask me. Do you doubt my skill set? Do I seem on it? I'm joking. I thought I don't want you know your lovely hands and dress yeah, it's okay. in flower. Even me, I wouldn't ask me, so it's fine. <laughs> Are you ready, babe? All right, come through. Yeah, come on then. Okay, I'll take this away, lovely. Thank you. So, do you remember what she was doing? Is that Were right? you paying yeah. attention? So okay. you have one dry, one wet, yeah? So you have to, so this would be wet now, okay, from now on, so this one would be dry, okay? Right, dip that in, all over, that's it. Actually, you should use this one because it's dry. That's fine, yeah. But then that will be wet now, and then, no, oh, oh, use, use this one, use this one. <laughs> that's it. It's like... A whole game of chefs. <laughs> it's multitasking. Your brain needs to work both sides. Okay. And, <laughs> and, and, and that's it. I'm going to tie your hand in the back. <laughs> and okay, then no. dip it in. Dip it in and swap. Yep, dip it in and, oh, and swap. <laughs> that's it. It's actually much more confusing than <laughs> well, it You would get it on the second one. Okay. Yeah, you would get it on the second. Give your brain a little bit to work out first. Okay, go ahead and, and drop it there. But it will be a lot easier towards the end. Good nice. practice though. That's it, well done. A bit dry. I'll watch you the second one and I'll go move on to make the sauce. My life is on you. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Nice, okay. Right. Okay, last one. Last one. Hey. Hey. Well done. <laughs> right, I leave the rest to you, my darling. Okay, right, now we're going to move on to make the sauce. All right, shall I move over here? <laughs> You'll be my assistant. <laughs> my girl, this bitch. <laughs> right, for the sauce, I need some that tray lime juice. And some of the chili, garlic, shallots. Mm, 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 mm. Just do what she did. Okay. Uh, put it in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do I use that station? I'll leave these two girls to it. Okay. I'll leave them to it and I'll come back to them. So I'm going to be here to make the sauce. And then I need the rest of the sauce. So fish sauce, some sugar. And then um, some fine, finely chopped chili. So, so this sauce is the basic sauce of making um, Thai a spicy dipping. And I need the, um, a handful of the jasmine rice on the pan, so I'm going to toast them. And then we got two little top ones that are really hard to open, so I'll bring them over as well. Come on, girls. Yep, those two. Yep. Okay. Are you working as a teamwork, girls? Oh, yeah. Okay, I you should have stressed me. Oh, God. See, you, 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 you wish you would offer, would you? I don't know. Right. Are, you are you tired? Brilliant. Are you sure? Okay. Should I call someone else? That's it. Yeah, enjoy this. Okay. No, no, that's fine. 
That's fine. Okay. So the key ingredients of the sauce is the toasted ground rice. And it's like this. And if you could smell it, it just smells amazing. And um, basically, you just use the rice and pan fry on the dry pan without oil. Add that in. In Thai, we call khao kua, mean toasted rice. So if you have that on, and then you just keep, keep shaking the rice like this until it's really nice and toasty. I just could add them on. And lovely, thank you. Can I have the whole lime as well? Just wedges it for me. Thank you. And basically just toast them until it's really nice and more or less nearly dark until you have a really nice smokiness come from the rice. And then if anyone got the grinder or to um, pesto and mortar at home, or you all have one, you use that. I would rather use that. Or if you don't have them, just use the normal blender. It's fine. But once you grind them, you have the aroma come from the rice. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can use that. So. There we go. So when you toast them until it, about, if you could, if you could just stir them for me, so until it's really lovely and brown, that would be good. Thank you. So I'm gonna go here and then move on to make the sauce. Can I have the mixing bowl, please? There it is. So again, I'm using both chilies and the dry chilies as well. Right. You still, someone to bring it and to then the have the spoon, and I've got one more. The um, the chili sauce. It should be chili sauce. Here we go. Yeah, I have that spoon. How you get on? Is it all right? Oh, lovely. Thank you. One more piece should be fine for me. Yeah. yeah thank okay. you. Just last one. You do amazingly well. I'll give everyone. Give you. Give. What's your name? Emma. Emma. Round of applause, please. Thank you. Well done. You, you, you shouldn't lift your hands up, would you? Yeah. <laughs> she said, yeah. <laughs> okay, right, last one, and that's it. Thank you so much. Is she all done? Thank you. Yeah, that's You guys give her a round of applause. It was harder than it looked. She did so good. Thank you. Right, I'm going to go to this station now and make the sauce. Because we need to make the sauce first, and once the sauce is ready, we're going to fry the salmon, and then we're going to resemble them together. So the sauce is going to be a really lovely, sour, salty, spiciness. It's just all of the flavor will bursting into your mouth. So if you have a chance, come and taste this dish later. Thank you. You must have this dish as well. It's your blood and sweat into <laughs> your dish, into your salmon. Okay? All right. <laughs> so I'm going to make the sauce. So basically going to add some chili. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Chili. And this is a bird eye chili. It's like um, baby, baby sister of the Scott Bonnet. Right. I think Scott Bonnet's a lot I spicier. I think this is Rodo in Nigeria. Is that what that is? Yeah. Is it we right? call it yeah. Rodo. Yeah. It's really, really spicy. And then I need some garlic. It really means garlic. Just half a teaspoon. Oh, yes. Can you smell the toasted rice? This is the stage that your rice is ready to grind. So you need to sort of toss it until it's become like this, and near, nearly dark. And that is the stage that you're ready to grind. Because when you grind them, it will become this. So... Yeah, that's done it now. Smells thank you. So but if you can good. blend it if you want. Yeah, thank you. And right, back to the sauce. I've got garlic chili and then I'm gonna add some lime juice. Just go into it. I add a lot of lime juice because it got a really nice it needs to be balanced between salty and sweetness and sourness and spiciness. And then a little bit of sugar. Again, if you can grab hold on top of the palm sugar, 
place to use them. I've noticed that a lot of Thai dishes have that sweet, savory um, flavor where there's a little bit of sugar added yes. into a lot of the dishes. Yeah. yeah, always have a little bit of sugar to combine those sort of like big flavor, like sour and um, saltiness together. Right. Okay. And then, well, we I normally use Thai chili jam, but um, my chef find this Thai style chili sauce for me and absolutely work the wonder. It tastes really like really good. So I'm going to use this. Just tie the bit in. And then the fish sauce. You can't have Thai food without a fish sauce. Just add that in. I would add maybe two tablespoons for now. And then if we need more, we can add Ooh. some more as well. I can smell the it already. Smell. It smells really good. It's really lovely. And then I'm just going to add some of this. That should be all right, yep. Some of the dry chili. So dry chili is just made from this chili, the big chili. Well, Thai, in Thailand, we have the big chili, but it's got that really sweet nice note to it. Mm -hmm. So you dry them and then you just fry, pan fry them until it's really nice and sort of aroma and then grind them again and that's become the um the chili the chili flake so i'm just going to taste a little bit oh yeah tastes good <laughs> <laughs> it tastes good you see me dancing when it tastes good <laughs> I do that too. I dance when my food is yummy. It does. It does. It, it, it just gives you that, oh, yeah. <laughs> and then the toasted ground rice. I'm going to use the one that we just make, actually. It just smells oh, gorgeous. That smells delicious. It is. It, I can't share it alone. Who want, hi, young man. Come, come do you want to smell, smell it? Come and smell it. I might just add a tiny bit of it. Oh, that smells but good. But you can come and smell later as well. It smells absolutely Don't fall gorgeous. My See, it smells good. Say it out loud. <laughs> well done, I'll pay you later. Always. Always. But it smelled, and this is going to give the nuttiness, the umami flavor into this spicy sauce. Mm, I'm happy now. So, a tiny touch of the sugar, and that's it. I'm done. And then... We're going to move this back to this station and then we're going to fry the salmon. Okay. And could I have the lettuce and mint as well? The lettuce and the mint. Okay, we're going to have that on to medium. Medium high. Okay. Yep. And don't be shy with the oil because we need the pan fry them. So if you have small amount of oil, your salmon won't get crispy. So you need to have the oil in a good right amount of the heat and then quick fry them. And that way we'll make a really, really nice and crispy salmon. Okay. And can I have another shopping board to shop the um, salad, um, the, the baby gem place? I can see how you mean it's a fusion of different flavors yeah. and, and ingredients, really. This one, you can just richly fry them on its own and serve with the um, mayonnaise. Just more, to be more like child-friendly sort of dish, more like a Japanese fusion dish. Or go like, you know, add some spicy sauce and then give it to like an adult. So, yes, it could be a bit of both as well. Lovely, thank you. Can I have a tong as well? Tong might be better. And we got the crispy gar crispy shallots over here. Okay, just wait until the um, oil hot. So I normally just di drip a little bit of the um, panko breadcrumb in, or you can put the little bit, the back of the wooden spoon, put that in, it went shh, means that it's ready. So my one not quite. Just wait for a little bit longer. 
I was going to say, oh, you can pour water inside and which voice is not popping up and down. <laughs> of the flame out, burn oh, your gosh. house down. <laughs> so I was watching online and I noticed that you have a video on plating food and arrangements. You know, a lot of times when we are plate food, or at least when I try to, I usually use that little scooper thing where you take the rice and you just kind yes. of put it down. What other tips would you have for us when it comes to plating food? I don't know. I like um, colorful your plate have to be lovely and colorful and it's inviting so I always adding garnish like coriander or red chilies on the side make it look pretty that sort of thing I think that's that's quite um and if your your food like stew or something like that just put it around your rice just make it look pretty make maybe mold your rice to have your rice as the main and then you have sort of stew around and make it look pretty mm -hmm. yeah yeah so that's a tip. I think my oil is hot enough, so I'm just going to add the salmon in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Add those in. It might be a bit. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're nearly done. Is anyone hungry in this room? Lift your hands up. That's brilliant. Perfect. You on here? So, um, so this is the final, that's the Thai curry, right? Yes. So okay. this will be our sample dish as well. Okay. So, so just add the rest of the um, vegetables in there now. And then basically just fry the salmon into the pan and then garnish or add the salad at the bottom, put the um, salmon on, just throw some sauce and that's it. That's your, your lovely dish done and go really well with the, um, on its own or with rice. It's really, really nice. So as we do this, um, I think it's good to get some questions. I trust that we have questions for Yui. So if you could have a question, please, can you raise your hand? Question, we have a question over here. Can I get microphones, please, uh, for our questions? Let's start right over here in the middle. Lady in the pink, right over there. Put your hand high so that our usher can see you very well. Can I get another microphone, please, on the um, left side? Okay, yeah, go ahead. Good evening. Yeah, I'm going to be asking a question from the first meal. Since coconut water is the base, what if I don't have the coconut water? So you have to speak up a little bit louder. I'm going to be asking from the first meal. Since coconut water is the main base, what if I don't have the coconut water? What should I use? Okay. So if you don't have coconut milk, is there anything you can substitute it with? For the, first, the Thai curry. The authentic way would be the coconut milk, but you can add milk um, like cream milk in should be fine yeah but I would prefer coconut milk if you could get hold of them but if you can't find them cream would be fine as well yeah all right we have another question um, right over there lady with the blonde hair can I get another microphone please yep um, so you can go to the front so that immediately she's done the next person asks the question okay. thank you I'm going to ask I want to know if I don't have the fish oil. Can I use sauce oil instead? A fish sauce, sauce, do you mean? Sauce oil. So soy oil. sauce. Soy, soy sauce. sauce. <laughs> okay. Even not soy sauce. Oh, got it. Yes, you can use you can use soy sauce, but it will it will taste tiny bit different. But yeah, you can use soy sauce as well. Yeah. Okay. But Thank fish, you. Fish sauce, I would prefer. Fish. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Who has the microphone? Okay. So please give the microphone to her. Yes, please. And then someone over here behind you, can you give the microphone to her so she can ask the question next? Because hello, of time. Yuli. Hi. Uh, also, from your experience in um, private cooking, when you have too much um, chili, when when your food is spicy, how do you tone it down? Because we have that a lot in Nigeria. So when we try to consider those that don't like it, what are the options of toning it down? Thank you. So how to turn it yes. down? Yes. How do you can you reduce you know the chili in food if the ingredient calls for the food, right? The chili. Yeah. So basically, I would always ask my customer what level of spiciness they want, 
and then I compromise by, for example, the green curry, add some greenness thing instead of the chili, or um, we just have to tone down the flavor, uh, tone down the spiciness, but keep the flavor. So keep, keep the flavor as it is and tone down. Um, but actually, saying that, I did a dish called grapao, which is supposed to be really spicy, and I make it really spicy. And I warned my customer before I served, said, this is going to be really spicy. I will serve you with the glass of milk. <laughs> or just prepare, get them to prepare. But a lot of my customers like spicy food anyway, so they prepare to have a really spicy food. And they're really happy with having authentic flavor. Right. So I don't really get the complaint that much. Oh, I like to tone my flavor down or my spiciness down. Yeah, but keep the authenticity and keep your flavor. I think that's the main key. Hope that helps. All right, next question, please, behind. And then can we get a microphone over there in the middle? There's a gentleman in the black. He's going to be next, please. Go ahead. Okay, so I noticed you added chicken without um, seasoning it. So do I have to just, do, can I just add chicken or I must always season the chicken before? Well, for the, the Thai green curry, yes, the yeah, green. I wouldn't I normally not season anything on my chicken because the flavor would be in the green curry anyway. So. Not normally, but you can add, you can season them with the salt and pepper, but I wouldn't. The same way? Sorry? It will come out the same way. Yes, I would say so, because your, your main key is Thai green curry paste. So you're not going to, um, I mean, it's not necessary to add the salt and pepper in the, into your chicken. But I, I recommend to use thighs when you do Thai green curry because you've got that succulent and the, the meat won't get too dry. So it will keep the moisture out of the, in the chicken. Yeah. All right, thank you. Uh, who has the microphone? Gentleman in the middle with, in the black. Yep, you, you're the only gentleman in the black holding. Yeah, 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 you. You don't have a microphone. Mayasha, come on, help me out. Thank you. Thank you. I think I'm privileged to be the first guy to ask a question. <laughs> All right, so I noticed that you add sugar into almost everything you have done. For those who have medical conditions and the doctors have said, stay away from sugar, how do you cook for such people? Well, I, if they request not to add sugar, um, I won't add the sugar um, and that's it. But um, I mean, if, if I could ask this for substitute like, um, you know, the um, sugar, sugar replacement because the Thai flavor need to be that little bit of sweet tone into it because that's how Thai, authentic Thai flavor is. But um, yeah, just always maybe the substitute of them, the sugar if they're diabetes and they can't have any sugar, that sort of thing. But um, yeah, I would still ask for the substitute and then add maybe, you know, the sweetness or something in it instead. Okay, all right. So we have some questions over there on the right. And uh, let's take some questions on the left. The lady in the back and the black is going to be next. Can I get the microphone to the front, please? Can I have the rice in to this corner? Yep, right there on the right-hand side. Them, Thank yeah. you. So while we wait for the question... Yep. You can give her the microphone. Thank you. I'm just Hi, Gary. Good evening. So I have two questions, actually. So the vegetables you use for the um, curry sauce, is it bell pepper? Because I noticed there was green, there was red, and there was yellow. So were those bell pepper... And also for the um, rice that was toasted, is there any type of rice? Could we use brown rice, uh, basmatic rice, or is a particular type of rice? For, for, authentic, for authentic one, I normally use jasmine rice because they got that fluffiness and nuttiness, got the stickiness into it, and it go really well with the, a lot of Thai dishes. But if you can't find them, I think majority of them of you use basmatic rice, doesn't it? You can use them as well, absolutely fine. Yeah, so all brown rice is your personal choice. You can use any kind of rice as well. So yeah, that's absolutely fine. What was the first question? Um, did that answer your questions? What was the second question? Bell pepper, what type of, in terms of the type of pepper options you can use, right? Yeah, you can use any kind of bell peppers. You know, the big one, we got the three colors. So she has the green, yellow, and red pepper, right? Yeah. Okay. But you can use either, you know, just red one or green one, whatever you can find. But I'll just use them because of the color. Yeah. Okay, 
Yeah, that's the sample of the papers that I use. Yeah. Yeah? Awesome. Next person, please. Um, okay, so lady before me already answered, you already answered the first question, my first question regarding the rice, but um, for your first dish, I would like to know what you can use instead of bamboo shoots in case, because, well, I don't know if they have that in Nigeria, so yes. what can you use? Is there it's anything else that can be replaced? The when the girl said to me, who is it said the, the, the substitute in ingredients to use the bamboo shoots, who tasted it? Cassava. 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 Interesting. Okay. It's not the same, but it adds but the crunch. But you just add tiny slice of them and just add that in. It's just give that crunchiness, but you, you, if you can't find them, just leave them without. It's fine. Just take them out. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's take some questions from the far left. Anybody have a question here? No? Okay. Uh, lady in the black right there. Please put your, leave your hand up so our ushers can find you easily. Thank you. And then we, after that, we have a... Oh! Sweetie, we're gonna, I'm so sorry, Muri, I'm not Hi. being new. I'm so sorry, sweetie. I'm gonna, right afterwards, you're next. My question is, instead of using the, short, um, the sugar, can you use like Maggi or salt? Like we Nigerians, we usually use Maggi and... Oh, basically, you know, can you use Maggi, yeah. bouillon cube? Can you use bouillon cube to season these foods? Is that what you're asking? I don't know, because I've never used them, so I'm not sure what it tastes like. Maybe Maggie, yeah, because yeah. I know Maggie, so, yeah, you so probably can use Maggie. You can use Maggie? Yeah, but it would, it would taste different from fish sauce, because fish sauce and Maggie is a totally different thing. But please do try to get the fish sauce, you can, if you can grab hold of one, because one bottle like that will keep you for years. So, yeah, so it's a lifetime investment. <laughs> okay, young lady in the front. Um, who taught you how to cook when you were young? Oh, come and give me a cuddle. <laughs> oh, Such please. a cutie pie. Do you know what? It's my mum and my both nans that taught me how to cook. And they taught me from their heart. That's why I'm this good. Okay, so your mum got to teach you how to cook, my darling. Okay, thank you for your lovely questions. What's your name? Athena, absolutely gorgeous, Athena. Thank you. Oh, bless her. Oh, that's, that's uh, just touched my heart. But it's my mum and my both nans. Uh, they, are, they are great cooks, and they taught me how to cook this authentic food, and they always put, my, put their love and care into it. And um, every, every time I do the dishes, I remind me of them. When I do cooking ginger, it reminds me of my nan. Yeah. And I cook Thai green curry, it reminds me of my mom. And it's, um, like salmon reminds me of my dad because he's like Japanese food. Mm -hmm. So it's everything all about the family and all of my dishes that I cook for my private dining. They're all, it's recipe that's been handed down from my nan, my granddad, my dad. It, it's, 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 it's special. And when you cook this food, to your customers is more and more than food, if you know what I mean. Because you put your love and care and those recipes have been handed down to you and, and you, you, you cook for your customer and get pie. This is more than, you know, more than your career, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's obvious that you absolutely love cooking and you oh. cook from your heart. You get me, girl. You get me, girl. I think it's time for us to hopefully do a little bit of tasting. Yes. Um, okay, right. I'm so. plating up now. So I've got Thai green curry here. Just going to finish it off. And can I have a little bit of the um, Thai basil, please, my darling? Over here. Just have a bit on here to garnish. And then if you could add some rice onto the plate and then start... Um, Add the sample dish for me. So Ooh, this is a good. Thai green curry over here. So that's a good bowl of Thai green curry, right? Over here. And then we've got the sample dish over there as well. And then I'm going to plate up my salmon over here. So basically, I like the crunchiness at the bottom. So I mean crunchiness, so I have the baby gem slices, baby gem on here. And then I'm just adding my salmon over. 
something like that. This is, could be like easy starter dish, really. And then can I have the shallots? So over here, oh, these shallots. Just sprinkle a tiny bit of shallots in. Just to give that a really nice crunchy. It's all, Thai food is all about the texture. Crunchy, saucy, and um, light as well. Some dishes, I love Thai papaya salad, that sort of thing. That it did, then the sauce is very similar. Where's my sauce gone? <laughs> What are in you the bowl. For? Where's my sauce gone? The um, the sauce that I make over there. Oh here, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I need a nap. <laughs> so that would be here, and then I'm adding the sauce on top of the salmon over here. That looks delicious. It it just. It's just one of my favorite dish. So this also, we should get some samples as well. Can yes, you bring a I've few? got loads. So yeah. if one of you... She'll do it over girl, here on the left. Yeah, help me put this, maybe cut the salmon up and then garnish this at the bottom. And then I have these finely um, shallots, the crispy shallots. I dice them up, slice them up really thinly and then fry them into the pan on the medium heat until it so it become crispy and then just um, dry them, drain them into the kitchen towel and that's become a crispy shallots like this. And then I'm just going to add a tiny bit of mint leaf. It go around. It looks beautiful. It smells absolutely gorgeous. I tear them up. And like when you're plating, the end bit is the... Um, a really nice one to decorate, so I always just plot them around here so they have a little bouquet flower around, like that. So, just get the top bit over here. And then finish with these lovely crispy shallots on the top. Okay, and that is the my crispy salmon waterfall salad and my Thai green curry. <laughs> Ladies Thank and you. gentlemen, please make some noise for Yui Miles. This has probably been one of my favorite masterclasses because honestly you have shown us how to cook authentic Thai food from the heart and Thank we appreciate you. it so much. We are going to give some people the opportunity to taste. Not everything is going to go around. I'm not responsible though, so I'm going to let them delegate how they're going to do that. But thank you so much for coming today, guys. And anyone who does want to taste, please stick around. Um, yeah, and have a good day. Please See do. you guys tomorrow. Uh, thank you. Please do come and taste some of the Thai green curry and the salmon dish. That was probably one of my favorite masterclasses. Well, I had a really good time oh, yesterday you. as well. But the Thai curry, the green Thai curry I just had, you can see I can barely talk. I'm, you know, when you were talking and you were getting emotional because you were thinking about the food and what food means to you, talk to me a little bit more about that and how people can apply that into the food they're making. It's, I mean, food is all about, you know, um, family. And not, it's not just the food. It's all about family, get together. You sit down together as the meal, as a family and eat together. And I've been brought up from, you know, when I was born, helping my mum cooking is like a show, really. So it's, it's not just the food. It's all about everything. It's all about my whole life, family. So when you grow up, you cook your food with love and cook that to your own children. Yeah. And that's more like a life cycle. And right. it's more than food. It, it's just so special. Yeah. And I think also when we're thinking about, you know, the process of making different dishes, I notice that you cook very much, you know, with your eyes in terms of, you know, just knowing how to taste and adjust meals. Um, how would you say people can become better cooks and chefs? I think you just have to keep cooking and tasting, 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 tasting. This is the key. You can't just cook it and then serve. You've got to taste. You taste your food all the time. And my key is taste in every step. When you add so sauces in, taste it first, and then just think that what you need to add more, and then add more, and then taste in. Yeah. Okay. So we've made an agreement. Yui is no longer going by Yui. She's now Titi because she loves pepper. 
So officially, she's now TT Miles. Thank you so much, Yui, for coming and just oh, for showing pleasure. us your art. My we pleasure. really appreciate it. It's been absolutely honored to be here, and it's so much fun. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you had a wonderful time. This is the GT Co. Food and Drink Weekend. We are here still tomorrow, so make sure that you come by. Bring your friends. You have to make sure that they taste the food.